this one is foul. Low two on two. Another foul ball. And now this count is for when Levette Wicks on deck. So Billingsley in a little trouble here. Ball's hammered in the center field. But they are going back and they'll make the catch. Ball was hit deep. But Adam Lynn with a two-run homer here in the third inning. And it gives the Brewers a three-to-one lead. Here's Chase Darnold. 0 for 1. One strike to Darn to Art. It's a foul. No balls and two strikes. Ball hit in the right field. Schaefer will put it away. Garza is tied a second behind three other pitchers and wins with nine. Alvarez leads the National League with 10. Ryan Howard will bat next. He walked his first time up. And it's 1-0. Phillies in this series just haven't really gotten off to a good start momentum wise. They were outplayed in the last couple innings last night. They were in the game. That one, they did the shift, and Howard's out. And that took care of that one is two down. Gonna bring up Adrian Beltre, who popped out in his first time up. <laughs> Beltre takes a strike. Beltre would love to hit a home run. He hasn't hit a home run since late May. Beltre fouls it. He does have 400 career home runs. One and two count. One ball and two strikes. Two, two and two. Count. Counting out at Beltre, Perez waits on deck. Beltre, what a catch by Jeanette. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the third. We go to the fourth. Three to one, Milwaukee. Fourth inning, Adam Levex lead it off. Here in the fourth inning, he is 0 for 1. Glad you could join us here on Phillies Radio Network. 3 to 1 Milwaukee here in the fourth. Here's the pitch to Levesque Swag and a fly ball to right field. Darno going back, dies, and can't get it. Bounces off the wall. Levesque's rounding second. He's going to try to go for third, but now he's going to end up staying at second base. Great throw by Rivera to get it in real quick. Darno almost. 
came up with the diving catch. And he almost went into that LCD board, which is very dangerous. But Darnold doesn't thought about going to third. That's Levesque's first double of the season. Here's Centeno. Here's a pitch to Centeno as outside for a ball. One ball with no strikes. Billingsley ready. And the pitch. Swing. Ground ball to Howard. Picks it up. Has to wait now. Throws it to first. Billingsley covering the first. Gets the out. Levesque moves up to third. There was one down there in the fourth. And it'll bring up Logan Schaefer. He's 0 for 1. Phillies do have bullpen activity. Aaron Harang up in the Phillies bullpen. Here's the pitch to Schaefer in his low four ball. One ball, no balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a fly ball is going to go foul. So it's 0 2 to Schaefer. Billingsley ready to go to pitch. Inside, one ball and two strikes. And a one two pitch. Swing and a foul. So it's still one and two. And a one two pitch again. Call. Third strike struck him out. It's three strikeouts for Billingsley. It is two down here in the fourth. And they'll bring up Luis Sardinas. Billingsley got that one on the inside corner and gets his third strikeout. Now here's the pitch to Sardina at his low four ball. One ball with no strikes. Sardina struck out in the second inning. The 1 0 pitch. Swing. Ground ball back through the middle. Nice play by Franco. Throws the first and he got him. What a play by Franco. Looks like he wasn't going to get him, but what a nice throw by Franco. That'll retire the Brewers. They get a lead off double, but they could not score. They lead one. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 3 1, Milwaukee. Here's Salvador Perez. He popped up his first time up. Bottom of the fourth, Brewers lead it three to one. And here's guys' his first pitch to Perez on outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the one-o -oh pitch. High with that one, two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0 pitch. Low and outside, 3 and nothing. Mikel Franco waits on deck. The 3 0. Walked him on four pitches. It'll bring up Mikel Franco. Franco grounded out his first time up. Billy's trying to get a rally going here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch to Franco and four strike. There's no balls and one strike. Garza has thrown 60 pitches here in the fourth inning. Here's the 0 1 pitch sway and a fly ball to right field. It is deep. Schaefer going back, makes the catch in front of the warning track. 
One down here in the fourth. And it will bring up Xavier Paul. Paul's one for one. He tripled and scored the run. Drives up from the stretch now. And the pitch. Up high. One ball and no strikes. And a 1-0 pitch. And for a strike is one ball and one strike. There's the 1-1. One -one. Inside, two balls and one strike. It is a 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. Bobble picked up. They'll get the out at first. It'll be a, we'll see how they score it. Adam Lynn bobbled the ball. Might have had a chance at a double play and they will give him a sacrifice on it. It would appear to be. It was a routine ground ball, and Lynn just misplayed it. It's Chad Billingsley with two outs. Here's the pitch. Nope. Outside, one ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Perez at second, two outs. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a miss, one ball and one strike. Here's the one one pitch. Sway and a foul. He had a cut, but he fouled it. It was one and two. Here's the one two pitch. Sway got a fly bar deep left field. It is well hit, but it is foul. Billingsley swinging the bat hard here. Still one ball and two strikes. Out of one two pitch. Scar third strike. He struck him out. Out of retired aside. Phillies leave a man on second. We go to the fifth. 3 1. Brewers. Here's the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. And the pitch. Yeah. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. That's one of his best pitches tonight. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball line hard towards short, and he'll have himself a base hit. Boy, he's doing it all out there so far. Not only is he pitching a great game, but he gets in on the act offensively as well. Scooter Jeanette will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now the first pitch. A fastball wow. here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The one oh pitch. Yeehaw. And he takes a cold strike one. Billings Lee at an even 70 pitches now for the ball game. Here's the 1 1. Lined into left center. And that's a base hit. And these guys would like nothing more than to add on to their two run lead. 
back-to-back -back hits have him in business to do just that. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And he's going to signal for the bullpen here as that'll do it for Chad Billingsley. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Aaron Harang is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Gerardo Parra will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Come on, let's now the 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. The one one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the veteran deals on one and two. two, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Now the 2-2 pitch. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The 2-2 one more time. And he goes the other way and sends this deep, but ooh, this will be a long foul ball. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. Two two. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Another base hit right there. Their third hit in a row. And now the bases are loaded here with still nobody out. Adam Lind will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation. And you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got a shot to push that lead out even further if he could come through here. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty right, and a right-hander right begin throwing. First pitch on the way. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. You're pretty lucky here just to get an out on this play. It's going to cost him a run, but that's a nice pickup and a tough, hurried throw to at least get the out at first base. Here's Chris Davis now as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And he will score as well. And the lead swells now to 6-1. to one. Okay. Now batting, third baseman, and on lead back. Adal Levesque will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. First offering on the way. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. One zero. Off the plate again. Two and zero now. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Now the 2-0. Too high. And it's 3-0. and Now that he's worked it to 3-0, and he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Here it comes, 
And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batting. Patrick. Juan Centeno will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. Comes set. Now the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. But fortunately here, no advance. Here's the 1-1. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And the runner will score from second. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will score as well. And they're really putting some distance between them now as that lead gets even bigger. Well, this is what happens when you dig yourself a hole out there on the mound. This is all his own fault. And both of those runners are going to come around to score on what works out to be a two-run triple. Logan Schaefer will try and pile on here. He'll bat with five runs already in and a good chance to make it six if he can get something airborne. First pitch coming. And he That's misses inside with that one, ball one. You know. I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. Look out over near the on-deck circle as he whistles this one foul off to the left. 1-1 one, one on the way. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. And this play is the very definition of trading a run for an out. It's been an ugly inning so far, so I'm pretty sure they'll take anything they can get at this point. First pitch to him. Luis Sardinius is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Now the pitch. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Had no, nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And you kind of get the sense that his head isn't in it right now. You got to put all your concentration into that hitter. You can leave worrying about the pass for your film session tomorrow. Now the two one pitch. Hey. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Oh, he shoots this one on into center field for a base hit. Well, he needed a hit like this. Got to get him to snap out of this cold streak. I mean, you're just looking for something to go your way. And that ball, it's not hit particularly well, but it happens to find a hole. He's saying, man, it's about time. Jerome Williams is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Matt Garza will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. First pitch coming. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Come on, Billy. Pause, now the pitch. Slice down the line at first. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. 
Last half of the fifth coming up. Milwaukee leads it 9-1. to one. Ben Revere will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Here's the first offering. Oh, and he shoots it into center field for a leadoff single. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Chase Utley stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. The 1-0. Yeah. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. The one one. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. Guards are coming up on the 75 pitch mark to this point. Here comes a 1-2. And two, the fastball two. easy to lay off that time. 2-2. Two and two. Sets the 2-2 two, two pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line. But this will get back into the seats. So the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 coming. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through. A base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And the hits just keep a coming. 15 games in a row now in which he has hit safely. Chase Darnot will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Now the pitch. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. And you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. On the left field line, that's going to be a fair ball. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from second. And if you're going to work away with a two-seam fastball, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. Here, as you can see, he starts it on the corner. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to leak right back out over the heart of the plate. And that's a mistaken location, pure and simple. Here's big Ryan Howard now, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough. But now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Another oh fastball. This one he gets by him. It's 1-1. One and, one. and when he's in a jam, he's going to reach back for a little something extra on that fastball. Boy, that's nice to have in reserve. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Here comes the 1-2. And a swing and a miss by Howard, and the big guy can't make contact. There's one away. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the bases.
Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up, and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Here comes the 1 0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1 and 1. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. Second and third here, one man out. Here comes the 1 1. Um, he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. And say goodbye to that one. Into the seats and right for a home run. A three-run dinger by Adrian Beltre. He keeps right on going. Number 401 for his career. And they've cut this deficit down to four. chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Uh, might have had thoughts about going back to back here. This is right where he likes it, and he took a big swing at it. Wound up getting just a bit underneath it, popping it straight up. Into the box, Michael Franco. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this is foul for the first strike. Four runs here in this half inning. Here's the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And you'd think, for as hot as this guy's been over the last few games, they might be treading carefully. Uh-uh. They're coming right after him, and now they've got him in an 0-2 hole. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. One, two. Uh, just oh, tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Para there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Five innings complete. It's the Brewers nine and the Phillies five. Scooter Jeanette will stride in as he'll be tasked with starting out things in the Brewers half of the sixth. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. But this will land untouched. Here it comes. Oh, another sinker here, and he's got it working for him now. 0-2. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on it, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. That fastball straightens him up a bit. 1-2 and two now. Here's the one two and a check swing here but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Well let's take a look at this check swing here in show motion. From this speed it almost always looks like the guy goes around. Here? Well it looked like a good call down there at third base. I think that bat did break the plane and that is a strike. In is Gerardo Parra. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. 
Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. Oh, you can feel for him, too, because you know exactly what's going through his mind right there. You can't believe it. You know when you're going good at the plate, all the little flares and bleeders, they all start going your way and they fall in. But when you're scuffling like he has, even the Rockets find a glove. Adam Lind will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. One ball, and this no is strike. taken outside for ball one. One oh pitch now. Now a hard liner toward short. And that is in there for a two out base knock. And on the surface, a little two-out single here might not seem all that important, but as we saw in the last half inning, these guys are starting to make some inroads into this deficit. So one, two, three shutdown inning here could have really given them a big boost. Now, they've got a little work to do before they get back in the dugout. Chris Davis will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Go now, Phil. Here's the first pitch to him. Wait. Now a no, fastball no. that couldn't quite find the zone. It's Wait ball up. one. But now you got to regroup after the two-out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet, not by a long shot. one -oh on the way. Hey, Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. one, one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Two out with the man at first. One one pitch on the way. Now a sinker's low off the outside corner. Two balls and a strike. Here he comes on two and one. Called strike on the sinker. Two and two now. Here now the 2-2. Now a swing and a chance for the third baseman, Beltre. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. Brewers strand one as they can't add to their 9-5 lead. Xavier Paul will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch. In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One and one. One one home. Fastball misses in the Two dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. He just keeps getting himself into trouble out there. Here's another guy that you gotta make swing the bat. Here's the two and one pitch. Fouled straight back. Here he comes on two and two. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. 2-2 pitch on the way. Here we go. And oh, that 
that drilled him pretty good as the ball squirts off toward third. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Dominic Brown is up off the bench with the bat in hand. And that'll spell the end for the pitcher, Williams. One and, oh. and through five and a third, already coming up on a hundred pitches here. One out, nobody on. The next pitch. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head. A fair ball. And he'll get into scoring position here with one away. It's a pinch hit double. And another base runner on here with just one away as we give you another look at his line so far. Now, somehow he's got himself in a position to be the winning pitcher, although it hasn't really been a winning performance so far. You got to love that run support, and he's needed it in this one. Now, here comes Brewers manager Ron Renicki out of the Milwaukee dugout. And the call is out. That's going to be it for Matt Garza leaves after just five and a third and despite exiting with the lead he'll be the first to tell you he did not have his good stuff in this one. Brandon Kinsler will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Brandon Kinsler. Ben Revere will be his first assignment down to the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1 0. Well, you see there on the graphic, he's at second with his ninth two base hit of the year. Here's the 1 0. Ball two. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Here comes the 2 0. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Chase Utley waits on deck. Suddenly, we'll get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first offering. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Hutley awaits the 1-0. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Now the one one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Philly strand one. They could use a good. Seventh inning. Brewers. Lead it nine to five. And it is a strike, no balls and one strike. One ball, one strike. One and one. Two balls and one strike. Two one. Three 
three balls and no three and one to count. Juan Centeno waits on deck. Brewers got six runs in the fifth inning. And the count is four. have a lead off base runner on and there's Juan Centeno he will bet Your attention, they'll bring now Justin DeFreitas in 55 games and going to a 2.5 ADRA eight walks 33 strikeouts with 45 in the third inning Jim Mark Gomez up in the Phillies bullpen Centeno is triple and double he is a homer and single away from the cycle. And he fouls it. One ball and one strike. One and one. Gets it over one and two. Two, two. Two and two. Back through, might be a double play. Steps on the second and steps on the first. Nice job by Mikel Franco. The turn, a double play. Two outs, nobody on. Is inside for a ball. This one will be caught by Xavier Paul and that'll retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's stretch time here. We'll be back. Here's Jason Dardo. Fouls this one off. Broken back foul. was right down the heart of the plate. All third strike. Here's Ryan Howard. Howard lifts this one to right field. That one is hammered well, and it is spot. So a big, uh, long strike for Howard. He's trying to get a hit here. He's not hitting this game. 
ball and one strike. One and one. Here we go, Ryan. Here we go. One and two. Count. Come on now. Here we go. Hit. He went. Howard is down on strikes. There's two down. Here in the bottom of the seven. Yeah, he did go. Took a full swing is Adrian Beltre. And this is what he did in the fifth inning. He broke his home run drought. Inning a three-run home run in the bottom of the fifth. Cut the score to nine to five. Beltre's six of the year. Beltre signs this one to left field, and that one is gone. Home run, Adrian Beltre, his second to tonight. And it's now nine to six. Here in the bottom of the seventh. Home run number seven for Adrian Beltre. And all of a sudden, he's hitting the ball off the ballpark. His second home run tonight. Now, he knew it was gone when it left the bat right up and in. And a great catch by a fan. That home run went 360 feet. And there's Salvador Perez. Perez hits a base hit the left. And now there'll be a double switch for the Brewers. And they will make a change. Chris Perez will be the pitcher. 0 and 1 with a 5.22 ERA, 39 and two thirds innings, 11 walks and 30 strikeouts. Mikel Franco will bat. He's 0 for 3. One ball and no strike. strike. It looked like that was a hittable pitch. But it wasn't Franco thought it was. It was up and in. And it's one ball and one strike. Here we go. Two, two and one. Xavier Paul waits on deck. Two and two to count. Full count now. Xavier Paul waits on deck. Perez will be running here. Fly ball and it's popped up. Behind shortstop. And put away by Sardinas Meadow in the inning. But Adrian Beltre, another home run, his second of the night. 9 6, Milwaukee. Here's Luis Sardinas. Leading off for Milwaukee. Shortstop, Luis Sardinas. Ball with no strikes. Oh, no. In the right.
right field. A base hit. Here's Jonathan Lucroy. He's in playing catcher today. He's batting at 264. Had a good night yes last night, hitting two home runs. The ball's been flying out the ballpark as of late. Runner goes, and that one has hammered the deep left field. And it is foul. Just foul. By a few inches. All in one strike. Brewers with 13 hits tonight. The Phillies with 10. Nice play by Fringo on the second for one. On the first double play. Tina Sento. Scooter Jeanette, excuse me, he's one for three, singled and scored a run. Ball and no strikes. Base hit the left field. Xavier Paul picks it up on the hop. Center field number 20, Gerardo Para. And I'll bring up Gerardo Para. He's one for four, singled and scored a run. One strike. Strike. I had to duck for that one. Phillies have the highest ERA in the major league, highest team ERA. One ball and two strikes. Bottom of the eighth, Milwaukee leads it nine to six. Leading off for the Philly. Left fielder. Here we go. Savior. Oh. Here's Xavier Paul. Foul tip, two balls and two strikes. Water. 
In and out of the glove. It was fouled into the glove of Luke Roy. Come on. Here we go. No, the fouls, two balls and two strikes. And Paul strikes out. There's one down here in the eighth. You see the innings pitched. Mark Garza pitched five in the third, gave up five runs. Billington pitched four innings, gave up five runs and seven hits. Garza gave up eight hits. Both had four strikeouts. And Darren Ruff will be the pinch hitter for the Phillies. Strike to Ruff. No ball, one strike. Ruff does have eight home runs, batting at 350. Ruff sky fly ball to right, and Schaefer will put it away, and that is out number two. Bring Neil Cox in, 28 games, only one of 5.55 we are. 24 in the third, 11 walks, 27 strikeouts. Ben Rivera, he has doubled and singled twice. One strike. Your ball, one strike. Balls and two strikes. What a good swing on one. Inside one, one and two. Bring it around Witten. Three and two, 2.41 ERA, 33 and a two thirds, nine walks, 28 strikeouts. It's Chase Utley. One strike to Utley. To the ninth, nine six Milwaukee. Your attention, please. And Jim Mar Gomez Number is the new pitcher for the Phillies. He's two and one, a four point six two ERA. He'll face Adam Lynn, who homered. Hits this one to Howard and he walks over to the bag for the out himself. One down here in the ninth. They'll bring up Chris Davis and double the single. The leads will have Darnold, Howard, Beltre coming up to the plate here in the bottom of the ninth. And 
Perez, Franco, and Paul if they make it that far. Outside, two balls and no strike. And this is a base hitting in the left field. So Chris Davis, his third hit of the game. And it'll bring up Adam Levette. One strike, one ball and no strike. Balls in one strike. Two and two. Off the mound and in the center field. That's a base hit. So the Brewers have two on and one out here. And they will bring in Ken Giles the pitch. They'll bring in another pitch hitter, Aramis Ramirez. So the Phillies in trouble in the ninth and just trying to keep it to a three run deficit. They've had their problems late in games, giving up runs when they had chances to come back. Only to make their deficit a lot larger. Ramirez is batting at 251, 11 home runs, and 42 RBIs. That one is foul, 0 and 2. Play by Beltre on the second for one on the first. That's a double play. Phillies get out of trouble here. In the top of the ninth, we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Brewers lead by three. We'll be back. Your attention, please. Jonathan Broxton will come in. He is 0 and 1, 24 saves, a 2.08 ERA, 21 and two thirds, seven walks, and 20 strikeouts. He will face Chase Darnold. He is one for four. He had an RBI double. And it's foul. No balls in one strike. Field, it's going to fall for a base hit. So Darnold will, is a leadoff base runner here in the ninth inning. And it will bring up Ryan Howard. Well, Schaefer tried to run for the ball and it fell in a hurry. It's a base hit. Here's Ryan Howard. Billy's trying to come back here in the ninth inning. Little half swing, and the third baseman is going to put this away. An uh, unfortunate out, and it will bring up Adrian Beltre. Broxton is third in the league with 24 saves. Beltre has homered twice in the game. This is what he did in the seventh inning. Looking to get on base here. Here in the ninth. On 
One ball and no strikes. You see they're probably going to be careful pitching the bell tray and hope that he chased something outside or down low. Two balls and no strikes. Salvador Perez waits on deck. Trey fouls it. Two and one. Come on. Here we go. Here oh, he we was go. late on that one. It's two and two. by Beltray, two balls and two strikes. Beltray, this is, oh, it gets by the left fielder, it's gonna drop. Arnold on his way to third, Beltray will be at second. It's a double for Beltray, and it will bring up Salvador Perez, who represents the tie and run. Chris Davis tried to dive for the ball, and it got by him. Darnold and Beltray at second base. Beltray, Darnold at third, Beltray at second. So the tie run is at the plate in Salvador Perez. That's the 20th double of the year for Beltray. Phillies with a chance to do something here in the ninth inning. A ball and no strikes. Ooh. Salvador wish he didn't do that. One and one. Oh, he tried, he tried to reach for that one. And he chased ball two there. It's one ball and two strikes. Perez, base hit, right field. Darnold score. Here comes Beltray on his way home. The snow throw to the plate. It is now a 9-8 ball game here in the bottom of the ninth with one out. A two-run single for the Salvador Perez. Galvez will be the pinch runner. And it will bring up Mikel Franco. Franco is 0 for 4. He popped out. Big spot for Franco here. One ball and no strikes. Xavier Paul waits on deck. That one is on the second for one. On the first double play, Franco grounds in to a five, four, three double play to end the ball game. And the Brewers hang on to win it by the score of nine to eight. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Man. Ryan Sandberg in disbelief. The Phillies go down to the Brewers 9-8. It was a hard-fought victory. And for the Brewers, nine runs, 16 hits, no errors. For the Phillies, eight runs, 13 hits, no errors. Beltre with two home runs. 
Juan Centeno, homer for the Brewers. He is the player of the game. Phillies had a rally going in the night, but Miguel Franco grounded into a double play to end the ball game. We invite you to join us next time for more Phillies baseball on the Video Game Network. Please like and subscribe for more videos on this YouTube channel. You've been watching Phillies baseball on the Video Game Network.